And um, I was not his um, outreach counselor, Jim Estes was. But when I met, first met Brian, you know, we've been in the business long enough where you, when you meet a kid, you're like, yeah, this is definitely one of those kids that's going to definitely make a difference in our world and in, in his community. And he was just one of those kids. So I think when he was uh, playing soccer in the backyard, with Robert, I was online with Jim saying, I have a referral for you. <laughs> I have a referral for you. So um, I'm going to let Brian tell the story. I, I'm actually, the, his family is great. I actually, his younger sister is at um, St. Lawrence University, and then his. University of Rochester. Oh, University of Rochester, <laughs> yeah, right, sorry. Last, yeah. Oh, right, because she switched yeah. the last week that yeah. he was able to. She was able to pause it. So, um, yeah, she's at UR. And then um, I also have her, their younger sibling, Max, um, in the program, too. So it's just a great family line, and it's got some great <laughs> things going, and thanks, thanks for being here. <laughs> start with graduate, or well actually I'll start in middle high school. Um, it was very nice to have a counselor to guide me through the college application process because it's not too fun to look at it from the beginning um, and know exactly what to do and where to get the right amount of money, things like that. So Jim was a big help there. It was really nice to have his guidance. And I'll just say that funding in general, whether it came from the government or the state, or a little bit through UVM. Like, uh, like you were saying, they're not too generous. <laughs> Got me through college and makes life a lot easier. The Curtis Fund was a huge part of that. Um, I graduated with not a ton in debt, and every time I tell people how much I have, that went to UVM too, they say, oh man, I wish I had, <laughs> I wish I had only owed that much. Um, so it's a great help. So when I went into UVM, I went in as a general bio student and that was all right, but I wasn't learning what I wanted to learn. Um, so after my sophomore year, I discovered the microbiology program at UVM. I said, this is what I want. This is, this is all the cool stuff, all the microbes, the diseases, public health. Um, I got into that program and I loved it. Um, general bio was 500 kids, perhaps. So you're kind of like a drone just plowing through the field, um, doing the same thing as everyone else. But micro felt like a community. There's only 50. 50 students probably in it, and in my grade, and um, the faculty, you just got to know them really well, you could walk in their office at any point in the day, um, you could go to the lab after class if you needed to any time, as long as the building was open. Uh, you learned a ton, they helped me get a whole bunch of opportunities, internships, um, there's, there's a lot of opportunity at UVM, so I really liked it, it's a great time, I got to explore my interests, and um, I just graduated in May, and I'm going to be working still at UVM yeah. in uh, one of their Colchester labs. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> so. so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to sticking around UVM, helping out the community there, furthering our, uh, our notoriety for research at UVM, and probably continuing the degree there as well, Master's of Public Health. So yeah. Okay. Great.